What is going on, internet? Welcome to the second episode of the Boozy Nerds podcast. Let's chat. Uh, my name is Gamba, and today I am flying El Solo. But we're going to keep this short. we got a lot of stuff to talk about. There's a whole lot of stuff going on next month. And uh, we want to make sure that you are aware of it. And not only aware of it, stoked and excited to be a part of it, especially if you are part of the target demographic, which is in the you know Dallas-Fort Worth area. So let's start off with uh, some awesome events that are going to be coming up, right? So uh, first and foremost, the one that's coming up the most quickly is the Let's Play Gaming Expo, right? That is going to be happening August 5th through August 6th. And a uh, quick rundown on what that is. It is just a giant expo for video games. Pretty much like all video games. Like not like this is the current video games. Here's an expo. No, no, no. It's like everything. So you can buy games there. They have 90 plus arcade machines that are going to be out there. There's going to be a Super Smash Brothers tournament, other retro game tournaments. They're literally doing a Techno Bowl Super Bowl. If you don't know what Techno Bowl is, you're probably a little on the younger side, but it was like the first big like football game that came out on a console like before Madden. Like this was the Madden. And uh, it was equally broken as Madden as like there's like certain players that literally... Um, are the best you can check out my memes that i post on instagram and you will see them about him the 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 football player that shall not be named <clears throat> not because i'm salty because i don't play as that team or anything anyway they got that there's a cosplay contest that's going to be going on there and then they're also doing an after party at one of my favorite barcades which is free play in richardson which i think they also just opened up a new location but shout out to them because amazing place they do have a cover but it is so worth it they carry my favorite ciders there um i need to do a video and talk to the bar owner it's been a while and check it out they also have lots of fun tournaments and events which hopefully we will start hosting some events and tournaments there as well so um yeah there's going to be guitar hero tournament injustice 2 they've been doing some board game tournaments like if you ever played crossfire and operation yep tournaments of those as well um, 10 man player Bomberman, which sounds freaking amazing. Uh, four is a six, Gears of War 4. Uh, yeah, just all the games, all the time. And uh, it looks like it's going to be fun. Um, I Let me double check the location for y'all. It's going to be happening in Irving Convention Center at Las Colinas. So uh, check it out, super fun. Uh, next one coming up after that is gonna be Anime Fest, which is if you haven't ever been to like at one of the anime conventions here in the DFW area, the big one is, uh, besides this one is Akon, it is super fun. So first off, I normally go because A, you can buy a lot of fun stuff there, and I spend way too much money on like Pocky and other treats and other things that I could buy on the internet for cheaper, but you're in the moment and you're having a good time, so you're like, why not? Um, super fun cosplay contest. The theaters that they do are really, really fun. Lots of lots of cool showings. Um, the fact that you get to go and meet all these people that also work on a lot of the anime is my second favorite part. Slash, there's a lot of the companies that are out there that do the dubbing and stuff, and you can talk to them, which for me is really fun because obviously, you know, I edit video and audio and work on that stuff, so it's cool to uh, the talk shop. Uh, the people from the Napping Princess will be one of the special guests. I'm really excited about that because it looks phenomenal. And the last uh, anime full feature movie I saw in theaters blew me out of the water, like just the quality of the animation, and it was beautiful. So. Hopefully, I will see the Napping Princess as well. But anyway, so yeah, they got dance parties. They're going to have photo shoots. They're going to have uh, game shows, card games, um, live drawings. I said the theaters already. They're going to be doing like social at night, panels, painting, and uh, an arcade. So generally, it's a great time. If you're a nerdy person and you want to meet nerdy people, this is one of the places to do it because they're there in mass and like majority of the people are just kind of walking around hanging out and talking so uh definitely do it go go do it it's worth worth the 50 60 bucks to get in um and like i said that's going to be happening the 5th to 6th of august oh nope sorry the 17th to the 20th i got my dates for it and all confused so 17th to the 20th and that's going to be super fun and right after that literally like right after that so you might need to just take off this whole week is quake gone 
the 24th through the 27th. That's going to be at the Gaylord, Texas. I love QuakeCon. QuakeCon is super cool. QuakeCon is the largest uh, land party in the USA. Um, unfortunately, it always sells out literally in the hour that it opens. So if you didn't get the uh, BYOC, then you're kind of out of luck with that and you won't be able to participate. But there's always next year where you can sit at your computer, literally wait for it to open and click as fast as you can and type in all your information as fast as you can. It's amazing. It's super fun. Even if you don't get to do the bring your own computer, there is so much stuff happening there. Um, they got amateur pro tournaments. There's a super cool expo hall where they're demoing off like brand new computer parts, what's coming out in the market, new mice, new keyboards, Balls Energy Drinks always there. My favorite. I love Balls Energy Drinks. I wish they were everywhere. It makes me sad. Like, okay, great. Yeah, Monster Venom and all that other stuff's good, but it's not Balls. Balls is the best. Don't, know, don't even argue. I, mean, I don't even get paid to say this. No one pays me anything uh, yet. Balls, but if you're listening, you can pay me to say this more, but I'll probably just keep saying it. Actually, if you just gave me free energy drinks, I'd probably say it more. Probably without. I don't even know. Anyway, they're there. You can talk to them. A lot of modding companies will be there. Um, I'm not sure, but I think... One of the boozy nerds who makes computer mods will be there showing off stuff. I will definitely be there. So if you wanted to come out and meet me, which I doubt you would because there's like 30 of you that follow me. But if you're there, I'll be there. I'll be taking pictures. I'll be the guy dressed up as me walking around with a camera and uh, trying to interview people getting yelled at. Um, but yeah, so the, the expo is amazing. They demo off a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's super, super cool. The Gaylord's a pretty cool location. It's huge. So they're going to have plenty of space. And, um, yeah, I have nothing more to say about it. Like last year they did like VR stuff for fallout four, um, Corsair was there with like their cool new laptop thing that you put in your lap. It's not a laptop, but like it's meant for like couch gaming with your computer. And I thought it was really cool. Like obviously I can't drop or wouldn't drop 200 bucks on it because like I sit at my computer desk, but still really cool. And I thought it was great. Cause I know a bunch of people who literally like to play from their, you know, their couch. So yeah, super fun. I look forward to it. And then also one last event that's going on that we are hosting in Denton is our Overwatch tournament at the Bitter Monk, and that's going to be happening August 3rd. So if you're free and you want to get some beers and you want to hang out with us, come join us. Hopefully we're doing a 1v1 tournament. If we don't really have a lot of people that do the 1v1 tournament, there's people there. No worries. We got some party games. I'm getting a copy or two of Injustice 2, so you can just play some fighting games and we're drink and shoot the, shoot the crap. It'll be... Uh, Freaking awesome time. So that's enough for the events. Let's go on to some stuff that's actually coming out and things that we are looking forward to as the Boozy Nerds. Uh, Fortnite has just released. And if you haven't heard about it, Fortnite is a super cool looking action builder with like hint of comedy. So like think if you were to take um, zombies from Call of Duty, like don't die and survive waves and then add it with like Minecraft with having to get supplies and gear and then give it like a touch of uh, plants versus zombies with that kind of like style stylizing you kind of have Fortnite um, squad based game where yeah it's it's a tower defense esque kind of thing open world I haven't played it yet I'm looking to play it I'm just going off of what I've seen um, but it looks super fun. I mean, I'm never tired of good co-op games that have zombies. I know some people are like, oh, zombies. So many zombie stuff. Oh, it's okay. It's fun. Shut your mouth. You enjoy it. Stop trying to be cool because you think that like everyone else is cool because they're all complaining about zombies. Zombies are still cool. Um, looks fun. I'm probably going to throw down on it and hopefully we'll be doing some Let's Plays of that. Um, another game that I am looking forward to is Agents of Mayhem. The people who brought you Saints Row are coming out with a new game, and that is coming out uh, eight fifteen this year. Uh, and it's very, very Saints Row esque. It looks like they kind of took Saints Row and then almost did like a Crackdown kind of spin on it. So it's more mission objective. Still has the huge open world, but now it's also got like where you have a squad, so you can switch between different players. 
in your squad that have different abilities that can help you get through different missions. A little bit of like RPG elements with like moves that you can pre-set up. It, um, it looks really interesting. Um, I know a couple people who actually worked on the game, so I'm really excited about that. And we have an episode for them for 8-Bit Booze that will be coming out that I made the drink. Super cool. Um, but it looks it looks interesting. It looks fun. All their games that they've come out with have just been stupid fun. Like It's a game that you can sit there, play, and just laugh. And uh, like that's the fondest memory I think of when I first originally picked up Saints Row. It was like coming home, sitting down, and playing it. And the first thing I did, I just cracked up laughing. Like this is this is real. Like I can dress up like a pimp, and my cane is a shotgun. Like this is a thing. This yeah, for real, awesome. Um, so super 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 cool. Looking forward to that. Hopefully, going to do a bunch of let's plays on that as well. Um, so yeah, those are that's what I'm looking forward to. I'd love to hear what you guys are looking forward to in the com comments. Um, keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to try to hit up all these upcoming conventions, and I will try to be at all of them. I know for a fact I will be at QuakeCon, Anime Fest. I'll try to be at and um, the gaming convention. I may or may not. It's a little too close, and I've already taken off a lot of time from work. So since I'm doing this part time, it makes it hard to you know, pretty much take off a whole month to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> but I'll try to do like a wrap up video next month with all the cool con stuff, just in case you couldn't go so you can see it. Um, so last but not least, let's cover some boozy nerds updates because we have a lot of things that are changing and a lot of things that are coming up. So we're kind of trying to find our stride still with our channel, with how we're doing content and releasing it. Um, so thank you guys for being patient right now. Really, it's me and like two other people pretty much doing everything like writing editing and posting <clears throat> so super difficult and i appreciate the fact that you guys have been really supportive and really patient with us but so 8-bit booze is going weekly um we've said it before on our first episode but in case you haven't catched it every thursday all the thursdays all the time we will have beverages for you to be able to try and make and drink and have fun um i'm really excited about it i think it's like one of my favorite shows to work on and to write for uh, we're repiloting the tipsy tabletop. I have taken some new creative moves. We're going to try to make it shorter, try to make it more action packed and try to make it so that you guys will actually know how to play the game at the end of words and have a good feel about the beer that we paired with it. Um, uh, because we want the local brewers in the area to, uh, like be able to showcase their stuff. And a lot of it's amazing. Um, I've never been really huge into local breweries until I moved to Texas. There's so many here and they're awesome. And maybe I'll try to go and do some tours and stuff and take some pictures of them if they let me. Um, so yeah, we're retable, uh, repiloting it this month. Hopefully we'll have it up from next month and we'll still be doing the one episode a month because it's a pretty big show to tackle. Um, we're going to do more cool events. So hopefully the one in the third goes off great. And if so, we're going to try to be doing way more stuff, especially with the Bearded Monk. Huge shout out to them. They are amazing. Pickle, I love you. Um, also, t-shirts are getting done. Thank you, Wise Attire. They've actually picked up and wanted to help make our t-shirts and maybe some more stuff because we've talked about them. So we may be getting some cool bearded mug glasses and, you know, like, I don't know, what other cool stuff you kids could actually possibly want. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, and then some group streaming, maybe another 24 hour live stream. I don't know. I had a lot of fun doing it. I don't know if you guys had fun watching it, but it was it was a lot of fun to do. I would have loved to have more people in the stream come play with me, but uh, that sounded super perverted. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twin Twitter, Instagram. We are the Boozy Nerds. It's super easy to find us. It's just type in the Boozy Nerds. The Boozy Nerds. And then click like, subscribe, follow. Um, and we will see you next month.